my uh, MSP or member of Scottish Parliament, his name is Roderick Campbell, um, and he had a constituency that's kind of like northeast of Edinburgh, which is the capital. Um, and that's Edinburgh's where the Scottish Parliament is. This is the building. Um, this is a picture of me with um, my representative that I interned for. That's Dennis Robertson, and this is. Um, one of the other staffers, um, Dennis Robertson, is blind actually, so he has this adorable guide dog named um, Mr. Q, and that is the only people that were in the office. So I don't know if people are familiar with interning in government positions before, like for representatives, but usually they have a lot of people in the room um, with them, but like that was it. I was the third person in the room aside from Mr. Q, of course. Like she said, there's an EAP field trip. Um, to London. Um, we, would, we visited the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. It's like a brand new plaque honoring the Queen. Um, yeah, it was definitely a unique experience visiting London. Really cool. We also got to go on a field trip to London and to see the, the UK Parliament and we got to meet some um, UK um, representatives as well. The format is we did about 28 hours a week internship and then we took two classes but they were just on Fridays so we worked from Monday through Thursday 9 to 5 and then on Fridays we did um, two classes one hour each and so it was pretty um, low-key class wise so the emphasis was on the Scottish Parliament internship. Um, so I would go to government meetings, um, constituent events and kind of like he's like okay how did that did I do well? Like, any notes you took, like how did that look? So I was kind of like his eyes and ears a lot of times, which was, which was pretty cool. Day to day, I did a bunch of stuff. Um, I, well, <laughs> one thing I did is like I um, ran like the Twitter and social media accounts. Like I retweeted myself. Um, Mr. Q also had a Twitter because he was like pretty famous <laughs> in Scotland. Uh, so I had a really good time doing that. I also got to edit photos of him and make like Christmas cards and other like public service warnings. So that was kind of on the funner side. But also, I helped with speech writing. So I got to do a bunch of research on bills that were being talked about and then I would sit down with my um, representative and speak to him about the things he wanted to talk about and then I would just write speeches for him and then he'd go onto the floor, this is him speaking here, and like he would say the things that I were helped work on with him. So it was a really awesome experience to kind of get involved firsthand in politics. I also would deal with like uh, public inquiries, answering the phone. Um, a lot of students in the area would be like, Hey Roderick or you know MSP Campbell, I'm curious about you know gun crime or smoking or public health. Um, they would rattle off some questions. He didn't have time to answer them. He's a busy guy, so he's like, all right, draft something for me. The other thing about Scotland and the Scottish Parliament is you get to go to special events all the time. Literally, there are events every evening um, in the Scottish Parliament, and there's also like another a lot of other things going on. Um, so. I got to go with my member of Scottish Parliament to a bunch of different cool activities. This was at the Chinese consulate meeting. Um, this is like a cool like play talk read bus for um, children with disabilities. And this is like his adoption night. Um, this is MSP Roderick Campbell. Um, it's basically like where a lot of the higher ups in the party would come and in his constituency and, and say, you know, we think he's the best man for the job because this was an election year. I heard from people is people don't want this experience because you don't get to university experience like we were never on campus um, but I just wanted to like say that I still made so many friends not just with the interns but also with people who were attending University of Edinburgh and I had an incredible time traveling. Um, definitely learning about a different culture and adapting to it is a skill and something I really enjoy doing. Um, again unfamiliar surroundings and knowledge of European geopolitics so going forward I'm um, potentially going to law school or grad school or just working anything in this in this sector I feel like this experience will just put me apart from any other really smart person from the American University.